<laughs> so these guys wanted to duke it out. And I said, okay, I'll give all the stats to the people, but there's not going to be any violence here. We're just going to give the folks the information about the two of them, and you can make up your mind. It's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we have the uh, Izzo Vivi, V-I-V-I, and we have the Rocket Mazda Fiato Type V. The Type V means it's vibratory pump, which means it does not plumb in. Same with the Izzo. This is not a plumb machine. They are both heat exchanger machines, uh, so they have that commonality. Uh, they both have a PID. The PID on the Rocket hides back here because they really like to have that clean traditional look on the front of their machines, which I think is really nice. I like that. Uh, let's go over the rest of the stats on this one. It's a 60 ounce copper and brass boiler, which is a heat exchanger like I was mentioning. It has an insulation wrap around it to help with heat retention. Uh, the water tank is right back here and it is a 98 ounce water tank, just like that. So. Easy to get at, easy to fill without taking too much apart. And it doesn't have hoses. It has that um, uh, adapter on the bottom of the water tank that goes into a channel in the bottom of the machine which accepts the water and it pushes up the valve in the bottom of the, uh, the water tank and releases the water to the machine. So that's kind of nice. Cup surround rail is built into the side of the machine. It's not a separate unit anymore like it used to be on some of the others. This is a saturated uh, E61 brew head, which means the hot water from the boiler is running through here to keep a consistent temperature. So important when you're making a shot to have consistent temperature. Nice stainless steel casing. It has your two uh, manometers right here. This one tells you what's going on inside the boiler. When it's up to temperature, it should be at about one, maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, this is also, um, over here, this is the uh, pressure gauge that tells you what's going on as you're brewing the shot. If the grind of the coffee is proper, it will go up to around 10 and back off to about nine, nine and a half, and then the rest of your pour happens. And that means that the consistency of the uh, ground coffee is as it should be. You can adjust that, of course. Lever machine up, hot water over here, steam over here, anti-burn uh, steam arm on that one, and uh, that doesn't mean that you can go <coughs> like this when you're done steaming. That means you can touch it up in here. Down in here will be hotter. It's a dual wall. It has a plastic hose feeding the steam down to your steam tip right there. On off button right here, here's your Indicator light that tells you that the, it is on. If that's blinking, that indicates no water or you've put in reverse osmosis or distilled water with not enough minerals. It detects the minerals in the water. So if you have a blinking light, you probably don't have enough minerals or you're out of water. Drip tray right here. And on the rockets, it's a little bit shallow. I do like the, uh, the grate, the look of it though. Uh, your powder-coated uh, frame right here, steel frame. Nice profile legs. I like the legs on these machines. Very nice. Now let's go over to the uh, Vivi. It has a stainless steel boiler that is also insulated, and it's 60 ounces as well, give or take a few ounces. And the water tank is under here. Let me show you. And it is uh, 77 ounces with hoses to feed it. I'm not a big fan of hoses. They can get kind of gungy, right, over time. And also, this machine, uh, pardon my reach, has a float in the uh, water tank. And as you lose water, instead of having the blinking like over here on the rocket, on the ISO, it's going to give you an audible alarm. Beep, 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 that you're out of water. Don't think that you busted it. You're just out of water. That fits right down in there nicely. I would say it's easy to remove. That's not an issue. I would say that this lid is a little bit awkward because you've got to feed the hoses in there. But once you get it on, it's fine. This is your, uh, your uh, cup warmer up here with a nice... Uh, the rails, the stainless steel rails. 
on the casing on this machine, this is going to be a double wall casing, which helps with um, the loss of heat. Retention is better as far as keeping it contained. It is a little bit bigger, more curved. It's a whole different look, as you can see. Hot water spout right here. E61 brew head, again, with the hot water siphoning through it. 58 millimeter portafilter, which they both have. The uh, ISO makes it tilted so that when you tamp, uh, it's more on a level plane. This one you would have to hold up like that. You know, not a deal breaker either way. Steam arm. Whoop. You know, sometimes you just got to get the angle right. Steam arm right here. Again, double wall. Your PID built right out here where you can see it. You can turn the uh, temperature up or down. You can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And this one also counts up as your shot is brewing. So you know how many seconds your shot is going. Stainless steel drip tray right down here, which is uh, a nice size. I like the size of this drip tray with two magnets that correspond with right there and there, which is kind of nice. That's actually a nice feature, a little deeper. The grate, I could say, you know, it's not, it's not what I would say a great looking great as far as aesthetics goes. Yeah, it gets the job done, but it's not, you know, it's not going to knock my socks. Stainless steel uh, frame, which is nice. You're never going to have any kind of rusting problems uh, with this machine because it's stainless steel. And let's see, what else do we need to talk about? Two manometers, they do the same thing. One tells you what's going in on inside the boiler that it's up to temperature. The other one tells you what's going on at the brew head. Uh, I think those are the basic stats of these two machines. E6, uh, the um, solenoid valve, solenoid valve, same across the board. Um, it's mostly little features that make a difference in these machines. So what's left? I'm gonna brew, brew some drinks on each one so that you can see them in action. So stay tuned, we're gonna get some milk and some cups. Okay, let's get some ground coffee here. I guess I'm doing the ISO first because that's the one I took the portafilter off of. Okay, excuse my back. And don't forget, uh, you want to purge this for about seven seconds because the brew head is going to be hot. It kind of changes. You don't get as much steam and, and the hissing coming out when it changes temperature, which is kind of nice. You can actually hear it and purge any condensation out of the steam arm as well. And this is counting. Perfect. All right. I don't know if I got really enough foam, but we'll see. I was paying attention to the shot, not to the foam. I did. I got some foam. It's ugly, but it's foam. The arts looks like Halloween. That's nice. Nice and sweet. Okay. I got another frothing pitcher here. Let's get some coffee.
this is a bigger portafilter, I can tell. That same amount of seconds filled up the other one. A few more grams. I didn't weigh them though, so it looked a little bigger. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Let's get our milk over here. Push over Izzo. Whoop, I just spilled that on the top of the... <laughs> uh, okay, purge. I almost forgot. Quiet. Seems quiet anyway. Come on. I didn't count it, but I would say it took about the same amount of time. All right. So far, so good. Similar, very similar. Well, it's not a boo, but it does look like that same daffodil coming up in the spring that I always, yeah, I get a lot of those. Hmm. Very similar. It tastes just a little bit different, but I can't say it's worse or better. They're both very good. They're both, I would say, on the same par as far as the quality of the drink. So it's really up to you uh, if some of the features uh, that one has over the other or vice versa, like this one. I like the uh, drip tray, the way it looks and all. It is shallow. Uh, I like the sides of this. Uh, it is not double wall, which, you know, a little more heat loss. I do like the looks of it. I like the PID back under here. I like the fact that that PID counts your uh, times your shot for you. That's nice. I like the depth of the drip tray on this, but I don't particularly like uh, the grate. I think it's, you know, it's not the best looking to go with the regular or with the rest of the machine here. So really, it's going to be your call. Stainless steel boiler, copper boiler. Those are the stats. So I kind of duped it out for these two, and now you guys get to decide which one's going to work better for you. Check it out on our website, and thanks a lot for watching the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.